Good morning, beautiful family. Afisha po, afisha pa. Afin kometi ya wati, nen sanye ya hon. Afisi se, nan yami ishra ya in. Waye ya kese fo. Yami di yon kwa ya chedi ya di amaye. God would have given us so much grace to function as his ambassadors here on earth. The Lord would give us our lives as a gift. And I know the Lord would do it. This is the last recording for the year. 2022. God has been good. God has been really good to us. And I want to say thank you so much. Thank you so, 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 so much for being part of this ministry. Your encouragement has worked. Your corrections here and there have really improved my life. And I'm really grateful to you all for having the love and the patience to journey with us true. We are celebrating Christmas. Of course, it's about Christ, the mass of Christ, right? We are celebrating a man, a great man who came on earth in the form of a baby. You know, I, I think about it and I get fascinated. God coming in the form of a man to die for us, to bring reconciliation between man and God. Man was so far away from God. And it took Jesus Christ to be born on this earth for him to come and sacrifice his very life to save you and I. It's something that I cherish so much because I can just imagine where I would have been if not for Christ. Sometimes I take a look at my life what I've been through, mm, some of the things I have done. And then I see myself where I am now, being a disciple of Christ and trying to disciple others to also be like him. I give him all the glory. And I say to myself, but for Christ coming down on earth, I don't think this would have been possible. And come and say, and come and titty. You know that song? Yeah. You know, our convention, we used to look to. And I think most of the conventions I saw um, flying on social media did the same. I want us to look at Luke 2, chapter, Luke chapter 2, verse 14. I love it. You know, it is one of the verses that spoke to me so much during this convention. And it's still speaking to me. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. It says that glory to God in highest heaven and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. As I brooded over this very scripture and I tried to, you know, critically understand it by the help of the Holy Spirit. The scripture says that peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. So that the peace is truly on earth, but it is with those whom God is pleased with. So that you experience the peace of God because you have become a delight of the Lord. Because your life is pleasing to him. He is peace. So he dwells with those whose lives 
are pleasing to him. It's like you go to where you are cherished, right? You go to where you are honored. You flow with people who carry a similar vision like yours, who are journeying on the same path with you. In fact, it's like the destination is the same, though the roots be vary, right? Yes. And it's the same thing. If you are a decent person, I mean, you definitely want to work with people who are decent, head to toe. If you're someone who loves reading, it's, it's so normal to gel with people who also read books because the communication flows. And it's the same thing. Christ has peace, dwells with those with whom he is pleased. People whose lives are in tandem with his. So if we should reverse the scripture, then it's trying to say that if you are someone who exudes confusion, who exudes conflict, who is fond of causing conflicts wherever you find yourself, wherever you find yourself, peace seems to be missing, then you are not pleasing your maker. Think about it. His peace is with those whom the Lord is pleased. So that if you are not exuding peace as a child of God, then you need to have a deep reflection over your life. What am I doing that is not in tandem with God? Why is it that I always find myself causing confusion? Why is it that in my marriage, there's so much trouble? There's fire. Why can't I be that peace, that agent of peace in my marriage? Why is there any time I talk, it's like war. The words that flow from me are not wholesome. They hurt the people I speak to. Peace on earth to those with whom the Lord is pleased. Truly, if we are doing everything by God's grace, through the word of God, with the help of the Holy Spirit, to be like Christ, it is really impossible to be an agent of confusion. You want to bring peace as Jesus brought peace to the world. As the year comes to a close, have a reflection. Do I exude peace as a child of God? Oh, I am rather an agent of confusion and conflict. There is always trouble in my home. There is trouble with me and my siblings. If I, things are not well with me and my siblings, things are not well between me and my husband, my wife, things are not well as a parent with my kids, with my children, be it younger children or adults, there is no peace. They need to take a pause and reflect on your life. What am I not doing right? For which the peace of God, which is with those whom he is pleased, has not been my portion. Listen, when Peter and John were going to the temple and they saw this man, at the gate, the man thought that they were going to give him some monies. But, but he said, he said, silver and gold, we do not have, but such as we have, we give. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. What they gave, they gave the power and authority that was invested, that was vested in them. The same way as a child of God, 
wherever you find yourself, if truly you have the peace of God, it should reflect in your relationships. Your relationship with your spouse, your children, your friends, your colleagues at work, your neighborhood, the community in which you live. You should exude peace. Even when there is so much misunderstanding and you get there, the peace of God within you should be able to affect the situation so that calm will be restored. If you're a political figure and anytime you speak, there is trouble, you need to check, 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 check. Are you pleasing God? Are you pleasing God? Are you in the church? You know, there are some people you know, in the Bible, the Bible says that Athalia, when Athalia died, there was so much peace in the, in, in the nation. Wow. A woman dies and there is peace. It should tell you the kind of trouble he fomented. she fomented for the people of Israel. And it should not be said of us as Christians that in our absence, peace is realized. But anytime we come, then there's trouble then something is definitely wrong with our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. He is the Prince of Peace. If you have Jesus in your heart, the Prince of Peace in your heart, how can you be an agent of confusion? How can you fight everybody in your workplace? Fight everyone in the family. For you, everyone is against you and everything is against you. Meanwhile, you claim to have the Prince of Peace in your heart, my dear. These things are serious issues we need to deal with as Christians going forward. If any time you find yourself in a family, there's trouble, there's confusion. In a marriage, you are always causing trouble. Your words are causing trouble, your behavior, your deeds. In fact, your attitude is causing trouble. You need to check yourself. You can have the Prince of Peace and be a troublemaker. No, 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 please. There are some parents who would intentionally foment trouble for their kids. Why? Because of their selfish, social, uh, selfish interest. So, they play their heads together. They go to this child, you are my favorite, they enjoy. They go to the next child, you are my favorite, they enjoy. And then there's so much trouble in the family, among siblings. My dear parents, if you are like that, stop it. A Christian saying, we, me nene kasada. Me fa manu ntu nenu mo dakop imse me wu. Some people can see these things and they do them. For years, they are not talking to their brother, their sister, their husbands, their wives, their parents, their in-laws. Listen, let's read something. Let's read something. Um, Romans 5, 8 says that, But God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. So while we're in our sins, we had not repented. In fact, we were doing, quote and unquote, a lot of foolish things. Some of us, if we should see, uh, remember the things we used to do. But the grace of God located us and then took us out of them. Wow, we were yet sinners. In fact, I, I, I always say that if Christ had waited for us for the day that we would say that, oh, you've had enough of this foolishness. We had enough of this mess. We have enough of this nonsense. Now, when we look for God, it will never have happened. That is why while we're still sinning, he came to die for us. Why am I talking this long? 2022. Take it that you didn't know. But do not enter 2023 with this bad attitude of yours. Do not wait for your husband to change before you love him. No, love is patient and kind. Be kind to your spouse. Do not wait for your wife to turn a new leaf before you love her. 
Do not wait for that child of yours to become Miss or Mr. Perfect before you love him or her. Whilst they are being stubborn, show love. Exude peace. Let peace be still. Let the Prince of Peace teach you the right way. Yes, your boss might not have changed from the way he or she is treating you, but as a child of God, having the Prince of Peace, you must let peace be real. In the church, peace must be real. In your community, peace must be real. In your home, a reflection of your home is a reflection of your heart. Think about it. How your marriage is going, how your relationship with your kids are going, your in-laws, yeah, your own parents, your siblings. Check it. It is a deep reflection of our connection with Christ. It is. Anyone who wants to please his Savior is very particular about the way he relates with the people around him or her. He wants to be Christ to them. That is why Romans 12 verse 18, right? Yeah. Still reading from the New Living Translation. It says that, do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. All that you can. It includes sacrificing your pride. It includes forgiving whoever has offended you. It includes forgiving all those nasty words that your husband said to you. Your wife said to you. Your children have spoken of. I mean, your parents said. Your in-laws, your colleagues, your your superiors, your your, your Christian leaders your community, even politicians, whatever. As far as, it says, do all that you can. It's a great sacrifice. It's a great sacrifice. When you really want to leave the scripture, that says that do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. Sometimes, people might think that you are crazy. In fact, don't make us away, Jimmy. Excuse my language. Some may even think that you are crazy. You've gone gaga. You, 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 you have no, you know, I don't know how to put it. It's like you have no value. My dear, the world is vindictive. The world is vengeful. For us Christians, we are forgiven. For us Christians, we are peace loving. That is what makes us different. May the Lord help us. The clip is long, right? Yeah. Because I want you to take a deep reflection of your life. And let the peace of God, the Prince of Peace, exude through you to affect the people around you. So that in the end, people will say that, I thank God I met Mabel. She is an epitome of the peace in the Bible. I always want to know the Christ they've been talking about. But I met Mabel. I met Vincent. I met Ama. I met Ikuya. I met Iha. I met Kojo, Kwesi, Kweku. And their lives, their lives are true reflection of the Christ they preach about, of the Christ they boast of, of the Christ they talk of. The Lord bless you and keep you. May the year end well with you. The year, it will end well with you. For there are no two ways about it. The year will end well with you. And 2023, it's a big year. It's a year that we're going to walk with God hand in hand so much that we we'll would enjoy all His graciousness, His love, His peace, His glory. If I, the Lord would cause us to reign would reign, would reign in 2023, and the favor of God would be our portion. I love you. Bye-bye.